to Granberry TV. I'm here with the sheriffs. How are y'all doing? Doing good. So, any, what's we have a busy week, not so busy week. We always have busy weeks. Well, okay. Extremely busy versus normal busy. Well, it's always busy. Well. <laughs> Lots of stuff going on, working on a lot of projects, and got the investigators busy, 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 and narcotic guys busy, busy, busy. I really don't have any narcotics information to report to you, but they're out there. They're yeah. working on things. So um, the jail is, jail population's up a little bit. I got 39 females in the system. Wow. So we haven't had that many in the system since like last summer. Hmm. So here we are just about to get into summertime and, yeah. and business is booming. Mm -hmm. So uh, looks like it's going to be a busy year, busy summer. Oh yeah, it, uh, it starts Today's the last day of school, so <laughs> it, it's it's here. Yeah, I hope things go smooth, but we're going to have the officers on their toes and watching and try to stay proactive on everything, and yeah. and hopefully we keep it under control. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you got for us today? Well, we had um, a few things going on this week. We had a husband that was arrested for assaulting his wife on the 17th. Uh, my deputies responded to 2709 Briarwood in reference to a disturbance that occurred at 3910 Pecan Valley in Oak Trail Shores. Deputies were told by the wife that she and her husband, 24 years old, were drinking alcohol and started arguing over financial issues. During the argument, the husband pushed the wife to the ground, which caused her to injure her elbow and knees. The suspect was arrested and charged with family violence assault. Class A misdemeanor and bond was set at $5,000. The victim refused medical treatment at the scene and the suspect went to jail. We had a, a son arrested for assaulting his mother. Now on the 24th, uh, deputies responded to 4803 Gooseberry Trail in reference to a disturbance. Deputies discovered that a 29-year-old male who had been drinking alcohol was arguing with family members over his depression. During the argument, the son assaulted his mother, a 49-year-old, by striking her in the face and, and body causing pain. The suspect was arrested and charged with family violence, assault, class A misdemeanor, and bond was set at $1,500. Mother wasn't seriously injured, and the, and the suspect went to jail, so uh, they get to drink and they... He said he was depressed and drank and made him more depressed, and then he got violent, so not a good combination. Definitely not. <laughs> then we had, this is kind of a strange one. Um, on the 25th, uh, deputies responded to a possible deceased person at the 1700 block of Glen Rose Highway. Upon arrival, though, several concerned citizens were trying to keep an intoxicated female, 45 years old, off the roadway. People at the scene told officers that the female initially was lying on the side of the road and appeared to be dead. The female later stood up and tried to walk on the, onto the roadway several times. So that was kind of an interesting deal. I remember listening to that on the radio. The female, who was highly intoxicated, was arrested and charged with public intoxication. That's a Class C misdemeanor. And bond, well, fine was set at $370. Suspect had been released from jail after seeing the judge, so uh, yeah, that was an interesting one, and deputies were in route there um, after she was seen, and, and they thought she was dead, but she wasn't. That was a good thing. Yeah. Less paperwork. Less paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing, one thing we've had going on this week, um, Sonny Frisbee, one of my investigators, he's been working long and hard. He's been with the sheriff's office for 17 years, I believe. Mm -hmm. And he's, um, some of this training he's done on his own and then other parts of it we've seen to, mm -hmm. but he is a bloodstain pattern analysis certified person and he's the only one in the state of Texas that's certified um, in all of this. And there's only like 50 of them in the country mm -hmm. that are certified. And so he's teaching a class this week. So today the class is winding up, and I think we have about 10 people in the class. But um, the That's County Sheriff's good. Office and Law Enforcement Association of Hood County is sponsoring the Bloodstain Pattern Analysis class. The class is a 40-hour class covering classroom experiments <coughs> with blood instructional 
examinations, legal aspects, and crime scene processing. So from May 23rd through today, um, going on through this afternoon, and at the Sheriff's Office we've been doing all this. And, um, I sure am proud of Sonny. Like I said, it's the certification is IAI Certified Bloodstain Pattern Examiner. It's his, his title. And, uh, That's awesome. He's a big asset to the Sheriff's Office and to Hood County because the district attorney and the county attorney call upon him and his skills lots of different times to, to do blood spanner, blood stain pattern stuff and fingerprinting. Mm -hmm. um, I think the last couple of weeks he's been in, in the courtroom two or three different times yeah. um, <clears throat> being an expert witness for the state. So uh, we sure are proud to have him and, and this is his first class. And it, sh it should wind down and wrap up this afternoon. That's good. So is he teaching other deputies is what he's doing? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and we have um, Judge Tuggles in this class today and uh, one of the assistant uh, district attorneys, uh, David Tucker, is in the class. Um, we have a, a guy from Hamilton County that's in the class and then some of my deputies that are in the class. So it's it's a good class and a good deal and teaching lots of people. And Awesome. That's good. So it'd be better to serve the citizens of Hood County and other counties. Definitely. Well, I guess it's time for Crime Stoppers Crime of the Week. Crime of the Week. <laughs> Crime Stoppers needs information on a criminal mischief. On or about May 15, unknown persons intentionally shot and killed a Red Angus bull valued at $2,500. The bull was found in a ranch pasture on Highway 4 North where the incident occurred. The ranch foreman found the bull laying approximately 50 yards from the highway with a bullet hole in the head. Anyone with information on this criminal mischief can call Crime Stoppers at 817-573-TIPS. You will remain anonymous, and if you're a tip leased an arrest, you could receive up to a $1,000 cash reward. Now, did you guys ever find the fugitive from last week? Not yet. Not yet. We're still looking at following up leads. Um, haven't found him yet, but... I know we will. That's good. That's good. I just thought we'd uh, catch up on that one because that one's not, we don't really talk about fugitives that much. So So if you want to run that again. Yeah. Run. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll definitely talk about it again. Yep. We need to find him and uh, we will, but we, we need all the help we can get. Well, I hope y'all weekend isn't too terribly busy, like over busy, <laughs> with the, the whole Memorial Weekend celebration and all that. You know that this bull is one of those times that if we could have got Sonny out there, he can even work on this type of stuff, Sonny Frisbee, mm -hmm. and be a great help with his, you know, his expertise, not just humans. He can do animals too. That's cool. <clears throat> That's really Anything cool. has got blood. That's awesome. You can call him at 2 o'clock in the morning, you got blood, he's ready to go. <laughs> you know, you know, people don't guess people think about it on, on livestock stuff that we could use him. But, mm -hmm. yeah. That's awesome. That is really cool. Well, hopefully y'all get that one figured out and you find your fugitive and you get everything squared away and weekend's not, there's not any big catastrophe. With Memorial Weekend and all the visitors and all that. So. You can go one way or the other, can't it, Roger? Yeah. We'll hopefully keep it under control and everything. A lot of the stuff is going to be going on in the city, but then there's going to be with the lake. I know it's going to be busy, so. Oh, yeah. Uh, my deputies will be out there ready to assist with Brazos River Authority and uh, Granbury PD, and hopefully the troopers will be out there. So hopefully everybody combined will keep it under control. That'll be good. Well, I hope you all have a good weekend, and thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you all next week. Thanks for having us.